Is every Roblox anime game a bandit beater? Over the past couple of years, and even recently, whenever a new Roblox anime game comes out, there's always one common question that is asked all the time. Is this game a bandit beater? And honestly, what a tiring question it is. Especially coming from GPO and Bloxroots players. However, to answer this question, yes, all Roblox anime games, that are RPGs at least, are bandit beaters. As are all RPG games everywhere else, on and off the platform. However, there are levels to how bad of a bandit beater a game can be. And that's honestly what we're going to be taking a look at in today's video. The levels of which a game is a bandit beater. However, before we kick things off, do me a huge favor. If you haven't already, hit that like button as well as subscribing if you're new. This is going to be an interesting one. So let's get straight into it. Kicking things off with the highest level of bandit beating, level 3. Within the level 3 category of bandit beating, we have games like a One Piece game, Hunter Era, Fruit Seas, and games like that. Obviously, these are not only free games, but you get what I mean by the examples. The level 3 category has been reserved for the true meaning of the word bandit beater. All these games excel at doing one thing and one thing only. Can you guess what it is? Bandit beating. These games usually consist of throwing the player into a world with nothing. You are usually placed on a small square island or an area that has one or two NPCs to interact with. And guess what these interactable NPCs do? They give you a quest that is 100% of the time to defeat bandits standing in a five die shaped position over in the corner. And the majority of the time, the NPCs do not even move unless they detect you or have been hit by you. Literally, they're just standing there. And that is the whole gameplay. You end up doing this until a certain level before you move off to a different island where you do the exact same thing you just did on the island before, but with a little bit more stat points, maybe a new ability or two. But that's about it. Oh, I forgot to mention, each island usually has some sort of boss that you can fight, but it's it's nothing too crazy. You end up repeating doing that boss to gain some bonus levels until you meet the requirements to travel off to the next island and do the exact same thing, the exact same format, the exact same styling until you reach level 500. But seriously though, for level 3 bandit beaters, this is 90% of the time the whole game. Sometimes, if you're lucky, there might be some PvP to indulge in, but the PvP is really bad and not really interactive. Into the next category of bandit beating we go level two to much of everyone's surprise games like blocks roots grand piece online project slayers and even type soul actually go in the level two category and to be very honest this is the category a majority of roblox anime games on the platform fall into honestly the reason why every game really falls into this category is mainly because most games that are being created nowadays are trying to copy the success of the games at the top of this category and since every new game is trying to copy an already existing formula they end up being either clones of each other or worse versions of that said copy and sometimes these worst versions of the copies end up being so bad that they end up falling into category 3, or should I say level 3, because they end up completely missing the mark. However, games in the level 2 category are not actually that bad. Not only are they the most popular and most played games on the Roblox platform, but they do appeal to most of the player base. Most of the games do what level 3 games do, that being throwing a player into a world that usually contains an island or a large area with interactable NPCs, along with a stack of bandit-like mobs waiting to get beat up over and over again. But they just do it better. Hey, sometimes games in this category even throw in a tutorial for their players. But what makes these games different from level 3 games is that there isn't just bandit beating for the entirety of the game on the most part. These games make you work for obtainment of different sets of different rare items 
abilities, gear that can more often than not be used in what we will call for the sake of this video, end game. These games typically have other modes that can be played outside of or after the main bandit beating until max level formula. These modes usually take the form of 1v1 PvP arenas or NPC PvE wave dungeons or other game modes similar to that where these players can use the hard to obtain gear on other players or other mobs in different game modes to see how powerful they are. Sometimes even these games have unique or rare gear that players trade other in-game items for. And other times these games have or try interesting ways of obtaining abilities and powers in the main game that don't consist of the same quest slash mob beating formula that was used in order to level up. But usually that's it when it comes to games within the level 2 category. I would speak on every update being damn near the exact same thing as the previous update every single time. But then again that applies to the games in the next category too. For the final category of banner beating we have level 1, the lowest tier of banner beating a game can have. Most of if not all games in this category usually have intricate if not multiple ways of progression and is never completely linear. Given their players different paths and options when it comes to gameplay design and build paths in the development of said character. Maps are usually more detailed and need said players to explore, learn and uncover places that may not have been found unless covered thoroughly. Some of the few, and I mean very few, Roblox games that can fall under the level 1 category would include games like Deep Broken, Rogue Lineage, Arcane Odyssey, and even games like Voxel Blade. But yes, of course, there are more games that could fall under the level 1 category. Yes, games under the level 1 category are still actually bandit beaters. And this is mainly because every game that is an RPG is a bandit beater. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. However, level 1 games offer more to the player and experience than just doing the same quest over and over until reaching that of max level. And these games usually have a clear passion involved in the development process that you can see through the game's detailed game design and gameplay. If you've played any of the level 1 games said before, you already know exactly what I mean by that especially if you were to compare them to the games on different categories. There's always different ways or different paths you can take when trying to progress your character. It's never linear and there's never one way. There's always different paths you can take. And it's not just reaching max level of your character. There's always designs and systems in place that make you have to take care and take put detail into little things like what your character is wearing that affect the stats and values and affect gameplay performance of your character. And even things like stat pages and abilities make huge differences in gameplay. And most of the time, two players don't actually end up having the exact same build or character. There's always a lot of detail that comes with games in the level one category. But again, if you've played any of these games, you already know this. And honestly, that's it for the video. The reason why this was created is mainly because I've been seeing a lot of questions of a lot of the games that are coming out in the future or the near future of people saying, is this game a bandit beater? And I'm not gonna lie, I just grew a little bit tired of it. So hopefully this answers everybody's questions of is this game a bandit beer? Yes, every game is essentially a bandit beer. So hopefully we see less of that in the future. And if someone keeps asking that question, do me a favor, shut up. This is your boy Revolver Axe and if you made it to the end of the video, I love and appreciate you. If you have anything to add to anything I spoke about in this video, let me know in the comment section down below. Your opinions, bad or good, are all welcome. I'm See you guys in the next video. Peace.